Hi, this is Peter for Classic Army coming at you from the 2018 SHOT Show. I uh, want to show you what we have uh, new for 2018. Um, Classic Army is bringing back the big gun. The big buzzword in Airsoft has always been DMR, DMR, DMR. Well, now we're, we're bringing you a true DMR platform. First of all, we're resurrecting the G3 line. This is the G3 SG-1, um, offering an integrated bipod, a 500 round magazine, full metal body, and something new for the market is the MSG-90. This is something that you could only build as a kit before, but now you can get this whole thing out of the box. Again, it's got a PSG-1 style front end, full metal body, and the authentic MSG-90 style stock. These will be available sometime in uh, summer of 2018. Now, this is a tried and true classic for Classic Army. We've been offering the M110 for uh, many years, like I think almost 10 years. Classic Army was the first to develop a proprietary SR25 gearbox with an elongated chamber, specifically for long barrel guns. Anything over 550 millimeters, you don't get the, uh, you don't get a loss of velocity or loss of accuracy. You have uh, enough air volume to drive it. But what we've done this year is, Number one, the Nemesis electronic control unit is now integrated into all of the heavy battle rifles that we will be building. And number two, we have redesigned the lower receiver back here, where in order to change the spring, all you have to do is remove the stock and the spring changes right there. So this allows the DMR player, if they go to different fields with varying velocity rules, to quickly adjust their gun to match the rules for that field. Uh, Standard inside the gearbox is already a high torque gear set, so you can easily handle up to an M140 spring without having to change any other components. Uh, one last feature is the quick detach silencer is standard with the gun. So if you want to extend your barrel to a PSG-1 length barrel, like a 590 millimeter or 650, very easy to do. You can hide it with the, uh, with the uh, silencer. Over here, Last year, the big news on the airsoft scene was a Classic Army micro gun. We were the first to bring a Gatling gun to the airsoft market. And then, uh, this has actually been developed for many years. We came out with a four-barreled micro gun. It is powered by uh, HPA, uh, <coughs> high pressure tank to fire the gun, and a battery to, uh, to power the rotating barrels. So what we did this year is we finally introduced a factory-made vehicle mounting kit. Prior to this, everyone had to custom make their own vehicle mounting kits. Well now, for about $200, you can buy a kit that includes a machined aluminum bracket, a machined aluminum uh, ball joint, and you get this cool looking barrel shroud. The piece de la resistance is right here. The spade grip system replaces the conventional uh, uh, joystick type uh, trigger system. You get a double handhold, push button activation of the, of the gun, two Picatinny rails that are all on the same level. So if you want to mount a long scope, a standard scope, standard scope with a magnifier, you're able to do it. This is available uh, right now in the US. So the microgun standard comes with at about 27 rounds per second. We are now offering a 48 round per second upgrade motor module. All you have to do to install this is unscrew these mounting screws here, two mounting screws here, this module comes off, and this one replaces it. Very simple to install. So now you can make your vehicle mounted micro gun a true support weapon. One more thing for 2018 is that uh, Classic Army is uh, keeping in mind the, uh, the budget conscious air softer. All of our guns, we're adding more and more features, like cars, we're adding new uh, technology, and that that is going to bring the price up. So keeping in mind the beginner air softer, the budget air softer, we are reintroducing the Apex line. The Apex line, we have the Fast Attack series, and that consists of two polymer AEGs. These are standard uh, automatic electric rifles, no MOSFETs, nothing fancy. Uh, inside is mostly Classic Army gearbox parts and motor, but the outside is all uh, polymer body, polymer rail system, and a full-size crane stock. These will be priced at about 125 US dollars. <clears throat> also, we are offering a full metal fast attack uh, system 
um, that is going to be priced around 200 to 210 US dollars retail. Again, a standard full metal AG with a crane stock with a variety of different hand guards. We have short key mod, uh, a longer key mod, a long Picatinny with an integrated silencer, and a long key mod with an integrated silencer as well. So it's a different flavor for, um, for all the different air softers that are out there. One more thing that we're doing is we are bringing uh, back an interesting AK. Everyone's got AKs, everyone's familiar with AK-74 and 47s. Well, we are doing the Bison. I know what you're thinking, it's a Bison. It's an oddball, but this one is pretty cool. This one has a full stamped steel receiver, stamped steel uh, handguard, receiver, and stock. The stock comes in two different varieties. It comes in a side folding and a top folding stock. What's really cool is the magazine. Check it out. Yes, this is the weird looking magazine. But now, finally, we've got a magazine that actually works for the player. To load it, you don't use a small trap door. You unscrew the top. It's got a positive pressure spring constantly pushing the BBs into your magazine. It holds a thousand rounds. And to load it, you don't have to wind a wheel. You pull a string. Okay, so this makes the gun very easy to use and great for field play. When you're on the move, all you got to do is go from here to here and you are, oops, all right, off and running, all right. Um, <clears throat> Two new things for the Classic Army line. Uh, everyone is pretty familiar with the Nemesis rifles. We introduced these last year. They were the first factory production guns with a, f with a full electronic control system that integrates not only a programmable burst control, single, three round burst, five round burst, full auto. It also does two additional functions that every player should appreciate. Number one, low voltage battery detection. You drain your LiPo to a threshold voltage. This thing will detect it and cut the gun off. That will prevent you from uh, over discharging your lipos and causing them to swell and lose their ability to take a charge. Second thing is it has a motor overheat protection. If it detects that it's taking too much current, more current than normal, it will also cut off the gun to save your uh, motor, battery, and wires from overheating. So we did that last year. This year, um, we are adding more changes to the gun in order to make it a more effective uh, field weapon. We're taking the 25K motor it comes with and replacing it with a 31K motor. We're changing the gear ratio, and now this gun will, out of the box, shoot 26 rounds per second. Cosmetically speaking, we're changing the trigger from a round curved trigger to a flat trigger, which everyone loves. We, are, we will be offering a, a new battery stock. And um, we will be introducing some new shorter length PDW uh, Nemesis rifles. Now the baby brother to the Nemesis rifle is our skirmish guns. These have been out for a while, uh, very recognizable, except we did a lot of changes to it. Number one, we took the same trigger from the Nemesis and put it in here. So now this is a under $200 rifle with a fully programmable trigger. One shot, three shot, five shot, full auto. Uh, no one else offers that out of the box. Another cool feature we added was we took the same motor grip from the Nemesis <clears throat> and we made a quick change. Now everyone's going to think, well, what's the big deal? Okay, you can take out your motor faster. This actually is, is pretty important. Number one, one of the biggest problems uh, with guns on the field breaking down, your motor wire disconnects. You got to have a screwdriver, take off the grip, reconnect the wires. Well, you could do this on the fly now. Second thing is for people who are upgrading or changing the velocity of their guns for different fields. You might want to swap out to a high speed motor, or a high torque motor. You could do that a lot faster now. And lastly, for the longevity of the gun, one of the most common problems with guns is that the insulation here burns out. When that burns out, you got raw wire touching a metal motor base plate. You get a short. This is plastic. That's not going to happen. So we've addressed a lot of common problems with a very simple and effective solution in a fantastic gun package. This gun still comes with a 603 Tybor barrel, uh, standard ratio gear set. It comes with Dean's plugs in the stock tube, and it is priced right at under 200 bucks.
All right, here are the guns that everyone is excited about. Yes, this is the Classic Army pistol carbine, uh, pistol carbine lower. However, this is part of the Nemesis family. What does that mean? It has the digital trigger programmable that's found in all the other Nemesis rifles. What's really key for most players out there is that the upper receiver is identical with all our other Nemesis rifles. So if you want to swap uppers, you can. If you want to take off this short rail and put on something longer, longer barrel, longer rail, you can. This allows you, the player, to take control of your gun and do what you want with it. Flat trigger standard, ambidextrous controls, and our, version, our Generation 2 PDW stock. The Nemesis had the Generation 1 PDW stock. It's a little cumbersome. You have to unscrew this thing to access the battery compartment. Now, in order to put in your battery, very simple, very fast. Again, we made all these changes with the player in mind. Last but not least, the DT4. Up until now, no one has mentioned what DT4 stood for. So you're hearing this first at airsoft.nu. DT4 is Double Trouble 4. All right, what is the Double Trouble 4? It is a Nemesis family gun with a Nemesis motor, programmable trigger set, single gear set. However, two magazines, two barrels, two hop-up units, two cylinders, two springs, two spring guides. If you have one magazine run dry, it will still fire out of the barrel that has the magazine in it. Okay, you have two independent hop-ups, so you could adjust the hop-ups for different uh, ranges. So you could blanket more of an area with BBs. This gun, um, concept-wise, sounds a little weird, but when you actually hold it, it's not that heavy and it's actually very comfortable to shoulder. I think for a lot of people out there looking for a lightweight, high firepower option, the DT4 might be just right for you. And that's it, thank you for watching. This is Peter at Classic Army, coming at you with airsoft.nu. Rapporteringen från Shot Show 2018 presenteras i samarbete med Wise Guy, Röda Stjärnan, Tactical Store och Malmö Airsoft Terräng Malmö.